certainly a freezing cold morning up here on Lake Tyres, but nevertheless I've come up with good mate Frank Molito and we're going to go and target some flathead. It's very, very early still in the season, the water temperature is pretty cold, but nevertheless we're out here freezing and we're certainly doing it for you. So basically today we're going to be working some shallow flats with some light outfits. Here I've got a Shimano Ranium 1000, some 10 pound braid, and of course my little 1 to 3 kilo Wilson Ultralight. I've got some 10 pound leader on there, probably a little bit light in the scheme of things for some flathead, but nevertheless it should be okay. And of course a little jig head here, nice and ultra light. Variety of plastics to be used up here, we've got some DOA 3 inch prawns, these are literally deadly, pretty much unweighted. Tie them on, flick them out over the flats, flick them around some snags, they do work a treat. And of course, with those ultralight jig heads, a variety of soft plastics as well. These ones are the DOA Shad in a black glitter. We've also got some bloodworm curl tails as well. So we're going to go up, push through this cold weather, and uh, see if we can get a few nice frogs. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> So we've just pulled up to a shallow bank. Frank's already making a few casts, working the area to see if there's any frogs around in this section. Just before I do, I'm just going to show you how to quickly set up a plastic. Basically we've just got our little shad we're just about to cast, and of course I've got my jig head. So all I do is lay the soft plastics along the edge of the jig head, measure out where the hook point's going to come out, and place my finger so I've got a good reference point. I take my jig head, insert into the front of the plastic, and thread around and pop that hook point out exactly where I measured it a little bit earlier push it round slide it up over the top of the plastic and of course there we have a perfectly rigged shad ready for some flathead let's see if there's any around that want to eat it <laughs> Realize it's not a game 
I'm just going to throw out a few casts and just show you in the technique that we use for targeting flathead. It's actually quite simple. I cast as far as you possibly can. Let the lure go all the way down to the bottom. And then basically, just a little flick of the rod and also a wind of the handle at the same time just to get that plastic just hopping up and over the bottom. So it's one, two, and that's it. And then just let it settle again. Once it's on the bottom, one, two, and again, let it settle. And basically all we're doing is just working that plastic along the flat and then down off the edge of the bank where those flat are sitting. Again, one, two. So it's quite a simple technique. No shirt, sharp jerking motion or anything like that. Nice and comfortable, straight down that bank. Yep. Well, the, the day's drawn to an end. It's been fun. We've caught a few flathead on a variety of lures. A little curl tail, bloodworm, DOA wriggler. And of course, we've been flicking around a few little Yozuri prawn diving minnows as well. We've caught fish on a variety of lures. It's certainly been a lot of fun. It's a good thing about fishing an estuary like Lake Tyres here in Gippsland. Well, the day has drawn to an end. Time to drive back to Melbourne. I hope you've enjoyed it. And with those few simple procedures, I hope you too get onto a few fish. Catch you next time.